Not in my house, your brother Van Silk. Okay, today we're going to talk about hip-hop. And my main topic is going to be Cool Herc and his Herculoids, Kokoloak and Clark Kent, Timmy Tim, and the rest of them. It seems like a lot of people are trying to rewrite the history of hip-hop. And at the end of the day, everything comes down to Cool Herc, the party that he did for his sister at 1520 Cedric Avenue that led to other things to where many of the MCs and B-boys and B-girls gave Cool Herc the mantle, the title, Father of Hip Hop. This your brother Van Silk, and I'll be right back. I got booties and hats you can wear. I got coats and jackets you can wear. I got boats and jeans you can wear. I got beanies and scarves you can wear. I got buttons and stickers you can wear. I got a lot of t-shirts you can wear. I got a whole lot of shit you can wear. I got a whole lot of shit you can wear. I got a whole lot of shit you can wear. I got booties and hats you can wear. I got coats and jackets you can wear. I got boats and jeans you can wear. I got beanies and scarves you can wear. I got buttons and stickers you can wear. I got a lot of t-shirts you can wear. Please somebody. Instant. Replay. You a MC? This a name you better know. Blastmaster KRS-One. I spit forever, yo. I spit the raw and make it so plain. When I spit next to Big Daddy Kane, I become his cocaine. <laughs> Shit, I take it that far. Bumping Illmatic in a fast car. Feeling like I'm driving a NASCAR or NASCAR. The long laster, the blast master, the blast from the past. So you can call me Pasta. <laughs> the mic got bent it. I'm not a player, I just crush a lot, no pun intended. I meant it. So he asked, who is he? I'm that dude that could have been king of New York City, but I gave it to Biggie. You get done so damn quickly. Really got to be. That fake is not for me. I'm on top like astronomy. True philosophy, true star. If you ain't helping our people, I don't give a fuck who you are. Not in my house with Van Silk. Yes, 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 your brother Van Silk. 50th anniversary of Hip Hop T-shirt, different new, done by Larry Walker. Have on the Hip Hop Fundamental Medallion. So, the father of Hip Hop, Cool Herc. Yesterday was his birthday, April 16th, happy birthday, Cool Herc. And what I like to discuss in topic-wise, and I'm going to be flashing a lot of pictures of different groups that look up and recognize Herc as the father of hip-hop. Now, there's a lot of people out here with the contentions of, oh, well, I started hip-hop, or this is how hip-hop started. And like in other terminologies, in other words, like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Okay, you'll have to excuse my language today. Because back in the days, there was a lot of people that didn't want nothing associated with b-boys, didn't want nothing associated with the young MCs, the yes, yes, you all to the beach or you don't stop MCs. They didn't want nothing to do with none of that. The only time when the guards changed is when me, AJ, Arthur Armstrong, Mike and Dave, and other promoters started putting them on our events because they was hot and some of the places uh, didn't want the young crowd in there so we had to add on certain DJ's names because they play in front of an older audience. I'm not going to call no names because so I'm not trying to cause nothing. I'm just trying to keep the facts right. When you go and look at Cool Herc and the Herculoids and I also let's not forget his nemesis back in the day was Smokey from Smokey and the Smokertrons. 
Okay, now this is early on. Now, for anybody to sit up here and say they was at the 73 party that hurt before Sister Cindy, you're lying. Cool. I know Coke LaRock was there. Clark Kent told me he wasn't there because he didn't meet her until 1975. Okay? But here's the other thing that we also met, must acknowledge. Not only do we must acknowledge that, we must acknowledge the early B-Boys. Mr. Chip, Salsa, Dancing Doug, you know, Charlie Rock. All these early B-Boys who never got the claim and recognition because of that wasn't like the big thing in the forefront. There was a lot of DJs, Tyrone and Mixologist, and, 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 and uh, Tex Hollywood, and, and, and uh, Cool D, his brother, uh, Tyrone's brother, Cool D. You know, there was a lot of DJs that helped supplement the hip-hop jams in the parks. Now, I always been a dispute with certain people trying to explain to them that the disco set that Disco King Mario had early on belonged to Cool D and Tyrone the Mixologist. That was their equipment. Okay, then you got people out here talking about, oh, well, you know, uh, he had his own shit. No, 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 no. He didn't build that until later on. Okay, you don't need to stop with the falsifications of the culture of hip hop. It did not start in 1971. It started in 1973. We all are in agreement. Even Africa Bambada is in agreement with that. I didn't have conversations with him about that. Okay. The slop talk of 1971 when you're not even 60 years old yet. There's a lot of y'all out here just think that people don't know how to count. A lot of the MCs were B-boys, the B-girls, before they became MCs. When you go and look at the early Brother Disco Flyer, it says the voice of K.K. Rockwell. When you go and look at the early Black Door Flyer with Melly Mel and Flash, it says the voice of Melly Mel. I mean, this is when stuff, stuff started to formulate and groups started to get themselves together. Need here to say, I am not here to strip DJs previous to the culture of hip hop, the flowers, the men boyers, the master D, rest in peace, Lance, you know, you know, uh, the, the disco enforcers out of Red Hood, Leslie G, and all of those guys, the disco twins, Tony Moore, DJ Pleasure, you know, I'm not here to say these guys, Infinity Machine, Ken Do and, 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 and um, Ken Do and them over at the Infinity Machine, you know, Cypher Sounds, you know, Spectrum. I'm not trying to disallow none of the DJs who was out here playing disco music and all that, but some of the DJs ended up being the sound of some of the hip-hop jams that did happen. Disco Twins was, was played in a lot, uh, System was using a lot of jams, and they played at a lot of these jams early on. You know, you got DJ Sesame, DJ Small, DJ Lady Love, you know, there are so many DJs out here that we just cannot forget. You know, you can't forget the mean jeans, Corleo, Theodore, you know, Charlie Chase, Disco Wiz, Tony Tone. You know, we can't forget, you know, the, the, the late Imperial JC who passed, who came later on in the Herculoids. You know, Cool DJ AJ, Love Buck Starsky, Pete DJ Jones, you know. And my whole thing is, I am not going to put these pictures in the order as I'm saying these names, but they will just be flashing through because I am not going to sit up here and waste all day to organize them as I just had this discussion. But, Herc, for the young kids coming up, is where the, pe the, the kids went to Herc's parties. They didn't go to nobody else's party. They couldn't even get in 371, PNP Lounge, P DJ Jones wouldn't let you in there. When Executive Playhouse was normally for the Bat Ross and Nicky Barnes crowd and Too Cool Herc got in there for the teenagers, the actual Hevelo. Like, come on, let's keep it 100. A lot of you out here, falsification, the historical history of this culture we call hip-hop. We can't forget about Harlem. Rest in peace to Willie Gum from the Rolls Royce movement. Sapphire Crew, Donald D., rest in peace. Half of the Disco Four, rest in peace. On the east side, you had Johnny Watt Rayvon. You had Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. You had Ronnie Green, you know. A lot of clubs in Harlem. From the B&B Disco to Celebrity Club, Broad International, Harlem World, the PALs. You know, we, we, we did a lot. Harlem is very, very, very instrumental into what we do and what we did in hip-hop. And people cannot disacknowledge that. You know, from the rooftop disco to Willy Burgers, you know, to Ponder Rose on 145th and 8th, Smiling Billy Jr., you know, the whole... Oh, just, just Manhattanville. 
I mean, the, the, uh, the Renaissance Ballroom. How can we forget that? Same thing in Brooklyn. How? Queens, how? Mount Vernon, Mark Collins. How? You can't forget it. Grand Mix of DXT and Infinity MCs. Can't forget. Whether you made a big impact or small impact, a lot of these people were around in different parts of the Bronx. But still, you had the leaders of the Disco, Brothers Disco, <coughs> excuse me, which later became Funky Four, Grandmaster Flash, and Furious Four, Three, Four, Five MCs. Rest in peace to Ray Chandler. You know, and, and there's a lot that we lost over the years in hip hop. But Cool Earth, all I used to hear of coming, not coming up, cause I was already older than most of y'all. Like, yo, man, you go to Echo Park, man, or, or, or Cedar Park, or just Cool Hurt, Cool Hurt. All I heard down in the South Bronx was about this guy named Cool Hurt. Because the young kids were getting the flyers at the school back in 76, 77 to go to the team parties. Because it still was really no MC. Who these are MCs until like 77? Let's keep it real. They've been rappers forever. Shirley Ellis, the name game. Shirley, Shirley, Boo Burley. Come on, pick me Markham. Here come the judge. You know, if you want to go back to Ball of Confusion with Dennis Everett, people moving out, people moving in. Why? Because of the color of your skin. Come on. James Brown, Muhammad Ali. But they not MCs. And this is where everybody's trying to fix up their lip and their mouth because you was rapping with a record. No, but you wasn't rapping with a break beat and a DJ cut. Now, you might be instrumental in helping the surplus, but you wasn't a B-boy. Lyle was a B-boy. Let's just keep it real. You was, you was already old enough wearing your, wearing your alpaca sweaters and, 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 and your Playboy shoes and, 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 and your AJ Lessons. You was, not, you was not doing that. I know you wasn't doing that, okay, because I'm 64 this year, and I wasn't doing it. I was already 20 and 78, 21. And if you older than me, you was 24, 25. You was not in the parks doing that. So y'all need to stop. The young MCs from the first generations couldn't get in none of the clubs. Couldn't get in superstar cafeteria. Maybe the girls could because God was already thirsty for the young girls coming up. But a lot of guys couldn't get to the superstar cafeteria and all these other clubs that was going on back in the day. You knew we, y'all wouldn't even let them in, even in 371, at a certain point. Pete Jones looked at me one day like, yo, man, go back to Disco Fever. And the problem is everybody want to sit up here and tell a story like y'all got amnesia and y'all just going to change the dates and add in lies. Cool Herc is the father of hip-hop. You nominated him that years ago. And respectfully, I have to agree to that. But how instrumental he was in the culture of hip-hop, he didn't inspire, uh, he, 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 his, his cut, he, didn't, he didn't cut. He wasn't a DJ to cut. So now you have to go down to Grandmaster Flash and the Theodores in them. Ain't none of his MCs were the yes, yes, y'all to the beat, y'all. They didn't have the flow of Creole, Melly, Mel, or Cowboy. None of that. They didn't do that. Let's be real. And a lot of y'all want to sit up here and not even understand the place that, that we all come from. A lot of y'all were behind the ropes. There was, there was three sets of parties back in the days. The real parties. The second parties, if you couldn't get Flash or Funky Four in them, then you got other groups, and then the third party were all strictly Mickey Mouse shit. Toy MCs. A lot of toy MCs that came up during the 78, 79 era. A lot of toy MC records in 79, 80. It's a whole list of them. People that couldn't even rap, to, so they were just lucky somebody made a record with them, and it was just total poor... Book pure bullshit, but now they could be called considered rare records. But when you go back and look at Cool Herc and what he's done and what he's added, no matter how some of y'all might feel about his attitude, so be it. He has the right to have that attitude. We don't know why, and I'm going to speak on it like that. But at the end of the day, he stole the father of hip hop. And this is your brother Van Silk, and that's all I have to say on this matter. I'm going to be posting a lot of your pictures. It's not going to be in the order as I talk about y'all, but that's just how I get down.
and I'm on my way out. Peace and have a blessed day. It's your brother Van Sill. Not in my house. Who? Mm, mm. Mm, mm.